17 people have been killed. 10 people were killed, 13 wounded at this school. Children and a woman are dead. Have your teachers gone over what to do in one of these situations? Archbishop Wood's Student Emergency Task Force has put together this video to prevent the loss of lives in the case of one of these events. Just another normal day. Nobody expects anything to happen. But when things do happen, you need to take emergency actions to make sure that you and the people around you are safe. What happens will determine what to do, based on situations such as fire or evacuation, shelter in place, medical emergency, lockout or lockdown. In a fire or evacuation, first, if you see a fire, call the fire alarm. That much should be obvious. Then, call 911 and give a location. Stay on the phone. Everyone should leave the building quickly and quietly. Remain calm. Move to your class location so moderators can take attendance and you should listen for further instructions. Senior homerooms should go to the field hockey field closer to the boiler room. Junior homerooms should go to the field hockey field closer to Nativity. Sophomore homerooms are to go to the girls soccer field closer to Nativity. And freshman homerooms are to move to the girls soccer field closer to the bank. During a medical emergency, use the phone in the classroom to contact administration or the nurse. Everyone is to remain calm and give the victim space. During a shelter in place, there will be an announcement that there will be a shelter in place. Everyone will be called to the auditorium by floor. No one is allowed to leave the classrooms unless told to. Sit in your assigned homeroom section. All faculty members report to the auditorium. Homeroom moderators will be there to take roll. Lockout. This is when all doors are locked. The regular school day will go on as scheduled. No one is allowed to go outside or leave during the change of classes. No one is allowed to be let into the building until the lockout is over. Lockdown. This is a serious situation. In the event of a lockdown, there are three possible actions that can be taken. Run. If it is possible and there is no immediate danger, create a thought out escape plan and run. Don't ever get in your car and leave. If you do this, you could be even mistaken for the suspect. This could create traffic, preventing police, rescue, and fire from entering the school. Hide. If evacuation is not possible, find a place to hide, lock down, and barricade the doors. Stay out of sight. Do not move from your hiding spot until the police arrive. Fight. As a last resort, and only if the situation is life-threatening, do something. Throw things and attack until disoriented. We never imagined an emergency event happening at Archbishop Wood, but we need to be ready in case these things do happen. We now ask that teachers go over their individual plans in case of one of these events. We need to work together to ensure that we all stay safe and take this seriously. It could be a matter of life or death.